At ASH 2020, excited to present a trial in progress on Presogen 3006 Ultra CAR T cells and relapse refractory CD33 positive AML and higher risk MDS patients. So I think excitingly, although there's a lot of challenges in car manufacturing, this technology utilizes a non-viral multi-gene system, which is allowing for a rapid decentralized manufacturing process where patients can go from leukophoresis to dosing of the car infusion in just two days. The car that we're using targets CD33, but also has membrane bion IL-15 to improve the persistence and phenotype of the CAR-T product and has a kill switch, which is important for a safety mechanism. Just briefly, preclinical data strongly support that the incorporation of membrane-bound IL-15 significantly improves outcomes in in vivo models versus traditional CD33 CAR alone. And with that, our clinical trial has two cohorts with and without lymphodepletion, safety being the primary endpoint, but a number of novel correlatives being incorporated into the design. Hydroxyurea is allowed as cytoreduction, although it has to be held prior to apheresis, and post-transplant patients are allowed. These are our dosing schedules. And just one exciting patient is we have treated a patient just on the dose level two, and patient has had persistent CAR-T out through seven months, at least based on peripheral blood, with some level of clinical activity. Thank you for listening.